what's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new samsung galaxy watch 4 so let's begin with the video now Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to be divided it in sections. The first one is going to be the unboxing of the product. Then we're going to talk about the specs, features, and price. And then lastly, I'll be saying if it is worth buying the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So let's begin. Alright, so now it's time to unbox the Galaxy Watch 4. But first, let's take a look at the box. And right here in the front, we're going to have the picture of the product. And then down here, it's going to say Samsung. If we check the sides, it's going to be Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. And then back here, we're going to have some of the specifications. For example, we have the Bluetooth 5G and LTE watch version of the Samsung Galaxy Watch. So let's open this box up. All right, so once you remove the stickers right here from the back, we can simply open up this box. It was very easy and simple. And right here, we're going to have the watch. It looks very nice from here, but I do want to take it out to take a look at it. And honestly, it has a nice finish and is round, which is very different from other smartwatches around the market. But it looks pretty good to me, the color and also the feeling of the band. Now, if we take a look at this box right here, which is probably going to have the terms and conditions. But let's open it up and see what it brings inside. So just like I thought, here we're going to have a quick start guide and also we have the terms and conditions. I believe there is something else right here on the box, but it's not coming out. So let me open up this other side. And right here we can see that we have the charger of the smartwatch. Let's take it out and it looks pretty similar to the other smartwatches charger, of course. So here we have that. Now let me check back in the box in case I missed any other accessories but it is very empty so that was pretty much everything that was inside the box. So now we are ready to start talking about the specs on the Galaxy Watch 4. Now if we go over the specs, the sizes of the Samsung Watch 4 would be 40mm and 44mm. They do come in black, silver and green for the 40mm and then for the 44mm it comes in black, silver and pink gold. And it does come with a Super AMOLED 1.2 inches with 396 by 396 for the 4mm on the display. And then for the 44mm, it comes with a 1.4 inches display that is 450 by 450. The CPU is Exynos W920 at 1.18 GHz. The RAM is 1.5 GB and the storage is 16 GB. It comes with a battery of 247mAh for the 40mm and then 361mAh for the 44mm. The durability of the Galaxy Watch is IP68 certified and it has a software of Wear OS 3 powered by Sanson. It does come with health sensors which include the heart rate, EKG and the bioelectrical impedance. So if we talk about the features, the standard Galaxy Watch 4 features a contemporary design with brushed aluminum lugs that extend and encapsulate the black polished metal body of the watch. While the classic sports more conventional timepiece styling which is similar to the Galaxy Watch 3 with a stainless steel body and most prominently a physical rotating bezel for interaction. The bioactive sensor branding that relates to the overacting fitness hardware inside the Watch 4 now extends to the two physical buttons on the watch right side. While the top button serves as a home key and the bottom a back key, soft pressing both after tapping measure on the new body composition app lets the Watch 4 get a read on things like the body's water retention, bone density, and BMI. Samsung says blood oxygen reading can now take place passively, while the Watch 4 tracks your sleep and functionality like the ECG, first seen on the Watch Active 2, which took time to reach approval in various markets around the world, should be available to users from the get-go. 
Samsung's stake, which it calls One's UI Watch, embraces much of what made Tizen so approachable, like interaction by rotation, by using the physical bezel on the classic or the digital haptic alternative on the standard Watch 4, which is the one we have in hand right now. While Wear OS means the Google Play Store and experiences like Google Maps and Google Pay cannot be accessed and can leverage the Watch 4's hardware. So if we talk about the price of the watch, the Galaxy Watch 4 comes in four different prices. The first set will be for the 44mm and the regular being at a price of $249.99 and the LTE version will be $289.99. Then we're going to have the second set, which is 40mm at $219.99 and the LTE version, which is about $259.99. Now, if you ask me, is it worth buying? I would say yes, absolutely. If you're looking for the best smartwatch you can buy that isn't made by Apple, the Galaxy Watch 4 is the one. The Galaxy Watch 4 is smaller, thinner, lighter, and uses a capacitive touch-based virtual rotating panel. And this is definitely one of the most fully featured smartwatch you can get. Adding to the breadth of fitness tracking and health monitoring features available, the Galaxy Watch 4 series also comes with an optical heart sensor, an electric cardiogram, and a bioelectrical impedance sensor. And there is an unfortunate catch here that you'll need a Samsung phone to use some of these features, but we'll hopefully see better support down the line. This is also cheaper than what their predecessors costed at launch, however, depending on the size and connectivity options, they can get pricey. But these, again, are not the most expensive smartwatches around by any means, though. And it's great to see them priced to compete in an increasingly packed field. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.